All right, guys, we're gonna start talking uh, about a new unit today, the layers of the Earth's interior. And I like to use this analogy of a football dog pile. So if you look at, at this example here, who, which of these guys, which of these players is under the most extreme pressure, is probably the sweatiest and has the highest temperature, and is probably the most squished, the guy at the top or the guy at the bottom of the dog pile? Yeah, pretty easy to think. The guy at the bottom of the dog pile is gonna have the most temperature, he's gonna be under the most pressure, and he's probably gonna be the most dense. If we go over here, we're gonna talk, bring that analogy to the layers of the earth. Here's where we live on the lithosphere. Litho means rock. We live on the rock layer. This is the hydrosphere, right? The ocean layer. Underneath that is the asthenosphere, which is my favorite because it's partially melted, which means it's kind of like swimming in silly putty. If you go a little bit further, we're in the stiffer mantle and then we're into the mantle. All this mantle stuff just means middle. Then we have the liquid outer core, which is kind of unique. We're going to talk about that a lot. And then at the very center, at the very bottom of the dog pile, we have the solid inner core. So let's look at our ESRT, page 10. Here it is again, kind of in the same visual for you. Here's our inner core at the very, very uh, center. And if we look at the very, very center of the earth, we notice that its density is 13.1. If we go down, we can see that its pressure is the highest pressure it can be, which is about 3.5. And if we continue down again, we can see that its temperature is about 67 uh, 6,700 degrees Celsius. So we know that it's under the most dense, it has the most density, it's under the most pressure, and it has the highest temperature. Now, if we go to where we live, we live on the continental crust, we live on the land, so our density is only 2.7. And if you go down, you can see that our density or our pressure is mm, pretty much zero, which is great because we need to be able to walk around. And if you go down a little bit further, if you look at our temperature, yeah, we're pretty low on that too. So today's question is gonna be about which layer is under the most intense heat, which layer is under the most intense pressure, and which layer has the most, the highest density. Good luck, guys.